Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So this is the 15th lecture of the dynamic programming playlist and we are continuing on the pattern DP on subsequences or subsets with a target. So today we will be solving the problem partition equal subset sum. So what is the problem statement? You're given an array of n positive integers. Your task is to find if we can partition the given array into two subsets. So given an array, you have to partition them into two subsets such that the sum of the elements in both the subsets are equal. For an example, if I've been given two double three, three, four, five as the array, I can divide them into a subset, which is two, three, five, and the other subset as three, three, four, and both of them will be having equal sum 10. So the task is to tell them true or false, like can you partition or can you not? So if you carefully see uh, this two, this three and this five belongs to the subset one and you can call it as subsequence as well. And this is the subset two, which is three, three, four. This is sub array, but yeah, you can also call this subset subsequence because every sub array is a subsequence. So can you do this? Now the prerequisite to solve this problem is the lecture 14 of the DP playlist. So if you have not seen the lecture 14 of the DP playlist right now, pause this video, go back and watch the lecture 14, then come back. So in the lecture 14, we did solve a problem where we were given an array. Yes, we were given an array and we were given a target. And the question was, can we have a subset with a sum which is equivalent to the target? That was the question in the lecture 14. Now over here, it states you need to take the array. Yes, you need to take the array and you need to divide them into two subsets, exactly two subsets. This is where the catch is. Divide them into exactly two subsets. That's where the catch is. So if I'm saying, can you divide them into exactly two subsets such that the sum one is equal to sum two? That is what they're basically saying. So can I say this? Can I say this? If I'm saying the entire array sum is S, the entire array sum is S and I'm dividing them into two blocks. Yes, I repeat, I'm dividing them into two blocks. Then one of the blocks, like one of the subsets will have sum as S1 and the other one will have subset as subset sum as S2. And I know S1 is equal to S2 will be equal to S by two, where S is the total sum. Do you agree or do you not agree? You have to, because if I'm dividing an entire array into two different subsets, the sum of a single subset will be half of it, right? So we have figured out that we need to make sure that the subset has to have a sum of S by two. The first thing is very sure if S is odd, Yes, if S is having an odd sum, then the division is not possible because you cannot have an odd sum divided into two subsets with equal sum. That is definitely not possible. So if it is odd, it's not possible. Now, if it is even, then what is the problem? Can I say I'm looking for a subset with a sum S by two? Can I say I'm looking for a subset with a sum s by two. Now you will be like striver. If I'm looking for a subset, then how will I get the second subset? Are you logic logic? If one subset you got as s by two, for an example over here, if you took two, if you took three, if you took five and you got, because over here, the total sum was 20. Like you can just do the total summation and the total sum comes out to be 20. So if you're saying these three elements are giving you some as 10, then if those elements in subset one gives you some 10, the remaining elements are bound to give you the remaining sum, which is S minus S by two, that's S by two. So you get the remaining sum as 10 also. So I just need to check if I can get one subset, because if I can get one subset, that automatically means that I can get the second subset as well. So the question boils down, given an array, yes, given an array, check if we can have a subset or subsequence with a sum s by two, 
where s is equal to the total sum and where have we done this problem subset sum equal to target this same problem was done in the lecture 14 where we were given a target we were given an array and we were asked can we get a subsequence with the sum target so that's what you just need to do so very simple you just make sure uh, whatever is given to you you check for odd condition if it is odd then the answer will be false otherwise take the sum as a uh, total sum by 2 and you can call the lecture 14 function call the lecture 14 function with the array and s and if this gives a true it's true otherwise it's going to be false simple as that so if you just do this uh, this will solve this problem so without actually wasting any time let's get started into the coding so this was the lecture 14 which stated subset sum equal to k so what i'll do is i'll just copy paste uh, the function and i'll bring it over here to over here so we have uh, brought that in and we are given the array we are given the n so let's have the sum as zero and we can definitely uh, run across and the i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and we can say sum plus equal to array of i so we have made sure that the summation is there or we can say like to be very precise we can say total sum that will sound much better total sum now can i say the target that i'm looking for is tot sum by two i am but before that can i say if the tot sum is an odd number yes if it is an odd number then in that case I will have to return a false because the odd number cannot be divided into two subsets with equal sum. So that's what we will do. And over here, can I say, I will just call this function if subset of sum, what is the first thing, n. So I know the size of the array is n. The target that I'm looking for is the target and I have the array. So I'll pass on this. And if this gives me a true, it's a true or else it's a false. So basically, whatever this guy gives you, you return that. Yes, whatever this guy gives you, you simply return that and that will be your answer. So if I just run it off, let's see if it is running fine. It is. And if I submit this, you will be seeing that this absolutely works fine. You see, I'm getting a score of 100. So something to observe here is I directly took the space optimization solution. So I just copy pasted. So what will be the uh, extra time complexity? In the lecture 14, we were using a time complexity of bigo of n into target, right? And over here, we have taken an array. So at max, we are just adding a time complexity of summing it up. So that's a big of n will be added to the time complexity and there'll be no addition to the space. Now, someone uh, did have a comment where he stated that Striver, if you are declaring the previous to be of size k plus one, which is basically the target and you are saying array of zero. What if, what if the array of zero is greater than the target? So he had a valid point. So if that's the case, just guys, uh, make sure if uh, array of zero has to be lesser than equal to K, then only this will be working. So he had a valid point. And uh, this is the just similar slight change that we have to do in the lecture 14 as well. It did pass the constraints because the constraints were making sure that all the elements were kind of uh, lesser than like the target was always greater than the array elements. But just make sure uh, that whatever array of zero is, it has to be lesser than or equal to the target because we're declaring the arrays of size k plus one, right? So just make sure uh, you just need to do this because then only it's possible. Otherwise, it's not possible in the previous lecture 14. That was the only mistake that I did. Thank you uh, to whoever commented that. I don't remember the name, but someone did comment it. So thank you for that. So guys, I hope you have understood the explanation. So just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video and to continue our tradition, make sure you comment understood under the video. And yes, if you are new to our channel, please, 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 please do consider subscribing to us because we do put a lot of DS Algo content. And yeah, with this, let's wrap up this video and meet in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.